Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is brought to you by Hair So Fly. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. I'm reviewing a new collection that just dropped by Bobby Boss. Well, actually, Bobby Boss has already come out with this line. This line is not new. The Glueless Lace Wicks came out sometime in 2019. Um, but this one is different because it claims to have HD lace. Now, that is crazy to hear on a synthetic wig. Um, but clearly, they are listening to, you know, the masses and how we want, you know, nicer lace. So, um, I have all three of them. And I am going to be reviewing each one in a separate video. First, I am going to be reviewing... I'm going to be reviewing MLF 452 Fair. It's in the color 2. So, I decided to go with the color 2 because I knew the color... The Okay, they have a lot of special colors that look great and everything, but that's just not my vibe, y'all. So, um, I'm sure other people will review, you know, the other colors, but I just wanted to go with the standard 2 because I would actually wear that. But I think the style itself looks very beautiful on the model. Say that this wig has HD lace. Um, it's a seamless blend. It says pigment responsive blending lace. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, you can wear it on the as a center part or on the side. It does come with baby hairs, but I'm going to assume the baby hairs are going to look crazy because usually synthetic companies don't get baby hairs right. Um, but we'll see. This is heat safe. It has a pre-plucked hairline so the density is lighter in the front and then it gets thicker in the back. Um, it has extended lace for more styling and freedom. Alright, so let's check this out. Let's check out Miss Fair. Now, when I saw it was HD lace, I was intrigued, but also, I know sometimes companies come out with stuff and it's kind of gimmicky. So, I'm hoping it's not gimmicky because it looks very nice on the model. So, they package this very nice. Alright, so here is the wig here. I can go ahead and tell you guys, this HD lace looks pretty light. So, if you, it looks pretty light. So we'll see once I try it on, but I think, hmm, this might be, this might be too light for a lot of people. I'm just looking at it. So here's the hairline here. It is pre-plucked, as you can see. That looks very, very good. Those baby hairs are bang-like, but they're not as bad as some of the ones I've seen. Inside of the cap. This does remind me of a human hair wig. So this is the extended lace here for more options of parting. It has a mesh back and you actually get a, you get an adjustable elastic band here as well as a comb in the back and adjustable straps. You do have combs right here where the mesh is as well, two on each, uh, one on each side. The cap feels um, pretty, I'm trying to give y'all an accurate, it feels like a medium cap. I don't feel like I have an excessive amount of space in the cap, so I'm going to say it's a medium. So this is the length on fair. This appears on me to be about 16 inches or so, maybe. Yeah, 16 inches. I'm 6 feet tall. I do have a longer neck. This is what we got going on. Like a medium density, it's not like too full. A nice everyday length, and then this is um the curl pattern is like barrel curls that have been brushed out. Kind of reminds me of Ramona from Altre. I think that was by Altre. So this is what we got going on. Let's zoom in. This is what the lace is looking like. So I'm going to cut the lace and hopefully I can wear this glueless because I, if y'all don't know, I don't like having to glue my stuff down every time. So, all right. So I cut the lace off. 
I cut the lace off and then I wanted to stop and show you guys what it looks like, the lace itself. So as you can see, this HD lace is very, very light. So if you are, if you have a darker complexion, you're going to have to tint your lace, put some kind of powder on it, spray your aerosol tint spray. I might do that. I might. Um, but this is a little bit dark, but this is so light of a cap, it might just work. Um, I think I might put, I think I'm going to do the aerosol inside the cap, but along the hairline, I might just stick to powder because I've had this happen with Kiari where I would think I need like a super dark powder to combat how light the lace is. But when I went outside with Kiari, it was looking super like unnatural but i will say the way that this lace feels it does feel like it's thinner so we might not have as many issues with the lace being so obvious because it's you know thinner but i did want to tell you guys it is lighter lighter lace so i am going to spray the even new york lace tint spray um i heard about this from natural joy i have it in light warm brown um if you are my complexion this is still a little bit um too dark but as I said this this um lace on this is super duper light so I'm just gonna spray it on there you can you can use the Sally Hansen spray tan but it just has shimmer in it um and sometimes that just I don't really care how that is Y'all know how I am about my lace and being outside. So this side was blending pretty good, but this one, even outside, was just too light. So you're gonna have to tint your lace, guys. For real. Just had a that white line. Alright guys, I'm back. So what is the tea on Miss Fair from Bobby Boss? So I cut the lace and I was like, uh, this lace is so light. But I was not um, super upset because I've had the opposite issue with Bobby Boss as well from what collection is that? The collection by Bobby Boss where it has the natural straight 26. I, the issue with that wig is the lace is too dark for me, but it's going to work for a lot of people. Lace is just going to be different and work differently for different skin tones. So um, that's just something we got to get used to unless, you know, synthetic companies start to offer different, you know, lace colors for us. But I don't know when they're going to do that. But I never thought I would see HD lace from a synthetic, from a synthetic wig. So... You know, we never know what these companies are going to do. So, uh, with FAIR, the lace is like transparent lace, but actually it's just really, really light. It's like white lace. So, for super fair skinned people, this lace is going to work for you. But for um, people who have darker complexions, my skin and darker, you're going to have to manipulate your lace to make it work. Just like with the wet lace collection and... You know other collections like that so you have you have a lot of options because a lot of ladies have had to tweak their lace and stuff you can use lace tint spray for me the lace tint spray requires so much spray like you have to keep spraying it to actually get a color payoff so i don't really like that anymore um this aerosol spray actually does deposit color really well but i wanted to make sure i didn't go too dark so i didn't put mine on my hairline now with the other two that i'm going to review i think i might just put a little bit of spray towards the hairline to see if that will help with blending um 
you can use foundation you can use face powder there's a lot of different options if you want to you know darken your lace the thing is you can't light you can kind of lighten your lace with face powder because that's what I have to had to do with natural straight 26 from Bobby Boss because the lace was too dark so I used a powder that was a little bit lighter than my complexion and it do, and it does offset it a little bit but I still feel like it's harder to lighten dark lace than it is to you know darken light lace so keep that in mind um lace is super light so it does lay really flat on your head can you wear this glueless yes you can but I feel like if you want that melted look you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to use got to be glued or the free spray now that might not be the case for other people when they try this wig but for me it was um, one kind that I had with this wig was the baby hairs it's a preference thing but the baby hairs were not working for me so I just wanted to blend it into the hair and I don't always want to rely on baby hairs to make my nat my hairlines look natural so I went outside first time this side of my hairline looks super natural like it was actually like melting looking very good for a synthetic you know HD lace synthetic wig but this side was still crusty looking not crusty but it was just white it just looked white so I came back inside and with my powders I had to use two different powders okay so if you're going the powder route you're gonna have to like probably mix different powders so this powder here is the black radiant soft focus powder in golden almond finish and I'll have these in the description box just in case you're using me as a reference um, this is a powder that is lighter than my complexion this is slightly lighter than my complexion and I put that in my part and then this powder here is darker than my complexion and this is the full spectrum covergirl powder in deep neutral one this dark powder did help with my lace like you I had to balance them out because if you go too dark when you go outside it's gonna look a mess and then if you go too light it's still gonna look a mess like if it's too light or too dark it's gonna look a mess so you have to find that balance which can be a lot of work and very annoying so beginner friendly yes and no it's not beginner friendly to me because if you don't know how to mix your powders to make it work with your complexion it's gonna frustrate you and it's just gonna look a hot mess right so this is a trial and error kind of thing with the lace and that's the biggest thing about the wig is the HD lace that's the biggest feature yes the HD lace actually is thin and it does melt quite beautifully um, once you spray it down it didn't look as natural when I didn't have it sprayed down and I did have to mix two powders so when I went outside yes I went outside for you guys and took some footage the second time it looked very natural when I went in direct sunlight I took some footage of me in my car with the door open and me leaning my head out and then I took some pictures of me in the natural light and it's very sunny today it's very sunny today and I was looking in the car window and everything the on a scale of 1 to 10 of how natural this looks outside I'm gonna say it's an 8 which is very good to me um, you can still see a little bit of lace but it's not to the point to where you're gonna be embarrassed um, and people are probably if somebody is probably right here in your space in your bubble they're probably gonna see your lace a little bit like the grids but as far as like if they're a little bit further back they probably won't see it but I think this looks pretty pretty good y'all and this is a pretty accurate read of what the lace looks like it's not perfect still HD lace from a synthetic wig so it's not perfect but I think they did a pretty good job um and I want to give you guys I'm trying to give you guys as much information as I can because I know how it is to wear a wig outside or to work or something and then your lace looks bad and you're paranoid all day those so, um I think this style is pretty limp it's kind of like it's kind of limp <laughs> it's not bad it's a very basic style but it's just you know it's nothing to write home about just a basic style so the lace looks pretty good but you know basic styles are cute but I'm just saying it's not something I'm going crazy over I'll show you guys what this looks like as a side part
Yes, I switched this back to a middle part. I showed you guys the side part just because I knew some people would be upset and complaining in the comments if I didn't do it as a side part. But the parting was wide. Like, it looked crazy. So I had to put um, matte black eyeshadow around the part to close it up. But, honestly, if you are trying to go for this, like, middle part look with you know, layers around the face, just pick up Valentino. Valentino is like $20 at the most probably, and you can wear that as a middle part. Now you will have to work with the part in the space a little bit because it's one of those wigs that doesn't come with any lace to cut, and you might have to put a V in the lace so you don't get that line of demarcation. But if you, you're not trying to fool with any got to be glued and gluing down the hairline and stuff, just pick up something like Valentino because that's the same length. This one is not as, it doesn't have the luscious, you know, layers and stuff around the face that are, like with Valentino, it's more like this. But this one just, it's long layers and it's kind of limp to me. It's okay, I'm not running out to pick this up. So the texture on this wig is a light yakky texture. Um, I actually have gotten some snags and the luster is pretty natural. Uh, you might see some shiny spots here because I, I did put some foam wrap at the top when I was trying to um, make it work for me. But this is just my opinion. Keep in mind, I am only on my channel. I am sharing my experience from my perspective. I always remember that take everybody's reviews on whatever it is with a grain of salt because you are getting somebody else's thoughts on their experience so my experience is this wig is overall pretty pretty nice but it's not like a wig i'm telling you you got to run out and get right now because it's amazing so if you guys are interested in fair from bobby boss i'll have a direct link to purchase it on um Hair So Fly, shout out to Hair So Fly for sponsoring another video. And shout out to you guys for tuning in to another video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.